annual Halloween contest is still on this year. It will just take on a new look. Please send in your pictures in your costume to WESM at esmschools.org by 9 a.m. this Friday. If you already dressed up for maybe the last weekend or for something else, some kind of party, send it in to us or wake up that day and send us your, your photo. We also have a photographer that we go in around the school to capture you in your costumes and awards will be given again this year. With more on Halloween, here's Josh. Governor Cuomo is not canceling Halloween unless the CDC marks it as a high risk factor and is unsafe for families. His office of the Department of Health will be making more guidelines for this year's Halloween. Last Tuesday, Trump rally attendees were left stranded for hours at Hama's empty airlift, freezing temperatures due to jamming airport roads. By the end of the night, 30 people needed medical attention, and seven were taken to hospital with an array of medical conditions. It's unknown how many were related to wait. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Cheerleading Open Gym starts this Monday. The classroom code for more information is CNBNXOY. And beginning on Monday, November 2nd, senior students will need to get their lunch from the large cafeteria before going to the senior cafeteria to sit down. Don't blame the messenger. Lunch service on the senior side is temporarily suspended due to low participation. The good news is that the large side, um, they have opened up an a la carte sales, which means that seniors can now purchase chips, bottled beverages, Rice Krispie treats, Pop-Tarts, muffins, and fresh baked cookies. Seniors, the rep from Hef Jones will be in today for cap and gowns, class ring and more. Stop in and see him during lunch. There will be a table set up at the senior cafe during lunches. Yes, and for those students that aren't in school, they will be back on Monday. We'll have an announcement on that day to remind you of that as well. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm hearing snow is in the forecast. But... Uh, let's check with Gabby. with some rain showers with a high of 46. Friday we will have possible snow showers with a high of 41. Saturday there will be mixed sun and clouds with a high of 46. Sunday will be partly rainy with a high of 54. Monday we will drop down into the 30s and have possible snow showers. Tuesday and Wednesday we will have mixed sun and clouds with highs of 43 and 52. I'm Gabby with your weather. I'm going to give our graphics people enough time to put up the slide because the voters, you have spoken and the words, word or words you do not want to hear again in 2020 are sports are canceled. Now this is a little concerning, Olivia, because it beat out, sorry, we are out of toilet paper. So I guess you are more comfortable with people telling you that they're out of TP. I'm not okay with that. Yeah, neither am I. <laughs> but we understand. Everybody likes their sports, that if they play sports, you don't want to hear that again. So today's matchup features Stay Healthy versus Zoom. Oof. Head on over to our Twitter page to make your vote count. Zoom? Uh, it's tough. I know students don't hear a lot of Zoom. I think adults hear more Zoom. But all right, stay healthy. All right, let's check on... Uh, what we missed from, I think, Tuesday night. The boys soccer team plays Cortland away today and the girls play Cortland at home tonight. Both teams will play at 6.30. The girls tennis team plays home against Oswego today 
The girls' field hockey team won against Bevo last night 2-1 with shots from Cody Smith and Riley White with an assist from Jenna Orlando. Cross Country had a meet on Tuesday. The boys were able to defeat Cortland 25-33. Spencer Carnival was the low finisher for the Spartans, while the girls defeated Cortland 15-50. Alina Vespi and Elena McKenna finished first and second. Tonight in the NFL, the Atlanta Falcons take on the Carolina Panthers in the Thursday night football game. The Panthers need to win this game to move up in the NFC standings. In the MLB, the Dodgers' 3-1 victory helped them secure their first World Series in 32 years. Mookie Betts had an eighth inning solo home run that secured the World Series. Corey Seager was named the World Series MVP. But there is also concern that there might be a COVID outbreak in the organization when third baseman Justin Turner was told in the eighth inning to isolate himself in the ballpark after a positive COVID test. After the game, Turner went and celebrated with his team after the World Series win. He was also giving high fives to his teammates and took the team picture with his mask off. The MLB is now investigating to see what pro COVID protocols were bro broken by Turner. I'm Tanner with your sports. So Olivia just told me some heartbreaking news. Go ahead, share. I absolutely hate Halloween more than anything in the world. It is such an unnecessary holiday. I think my tears are contagious. I don't want to cry. I've just never you... understood. Well, I like th that for a day you can be somebody else. It's kind of fun and nice. And not to mention, I, I met my wife on Halloween. Well, that's nice, so, but like we live in central New York. It's cold and snowy in October, and you, you can throw on lots of clothes. Well, yeah, but it ruins the costume. You're supposed to look like somebody else, and all of a sudden you got your Under Armour on and your jacket. Your makeup's getting all messed up. Okay. Hopefully, you guys enjoy Halloween. It's a little tough this year, but hey, it's a perfect holiday to wear a mask. So, hopefully, you get a chance to enjoy it, and we'll see you back tomorrow. You really don't want. Mm-hmm.